now from the Forewarned Storm Center, meteorologist Thomas Giboy. Hard to believe it's only been four days since we woke up on Monday morning and it was freezing outside, literally freezing. And today, not even close to that, getting our high temperatures into the mid and upper 70, 75 degrees in Dothan for our high temperature. But temperatures cooling off right now, but cooling off rather slowly. Still seeing 70 degrees in Andalusia, 70 in Destin as well. Sitting at 69 degrees in Ozark. So if you're headed out in the next 30 minutes or so, things are looking pretty good. But we are tracking a cold front that will eventually bring us cooler air. You can see a lot colder conditions in behind this cold front. Oklahoma City right now sitting at 31 degrees, actually dealing with some freezing rain. But this cold front, even though it's continuing to track off towards the east, it's going to slow down and it's going to slow down in a big way. And we'll show you that on the satellite radar. It's still pumping in a lot of showers in from the Gulf of Mexico. See that frozen precipitation in behind that. Nice and dry where we're at. The reason being is there's a center of high pressure in the northern portion of Georgia, which has been keeping things nice and dry, and it's going to continue to keep things nice and dry. I might see a few more clouds begin to filter in from our east. However, staying nice and sunny for tomorrow morning. We also might have to deal with a couple areas of patchy fog tomorrow morning since it will be a little bit humid outside. Excuse me. See those showers staying well off to our north. The high pressure continues to stay over the northern portions of Georgia, which means it's kind of going to block the cold front bit from making its way even closer towards us. So heading into this weekend, things looking nice and dry. We won't even see rain chances go up until later Tuesday night. And then when that high pressure finally begins to push out of our region and showing you that on temperatures, so notice tomorrow morning and wake up with those temperatures into the mid and upper 50s. Cold front slowly makes its way over the northern portions of Mississippi. Sunday afternoon, high temperatures into the mid and upper 70s. Once again, that'll continue into the day on Monday as well. So expect another warm one on Monday. Just a little bit more cloud coverage can be getting to move in with more of a southerly component to our wind, but it's going through the day on Monday and heading into Tuesday. That's when the cold front really begins to get going and you can see slicing through the central portions of Alabama. So we'll really begin to feel the effects of the cold front on Wednesday and that's when our rain chances will begin to go up as well. So high temperatures on Wednesday into the mid and upper 60s and then much cooler air in behind that. When we wake up on Thursday morning, our overnight lows will be into the upper 40s once again. So pretty close to average. So much cooler conditions will be had heading into next week and also rain chances expected to spike once we get to Thursday and more of the influence of that cold front and then drying out once we get to the weekend. But your golf cast for tomorrow, expect better conditions. Yellow flags predominantly fly, flying, excuse me, two to threes on the sea. So pretty nice boating day if you decide to do that. Water temperature getting a little bit on the cooler side. But if you're headed to the Iron Bowl tomorrow, things are looking absolutely perfect. High temperatures into the mid 70s. So your kickoff temperature at 230 on CBS on our sister station WTBY sitting at 75 degrees. So the Iron Bowl shaping up to be one good one, especially with the weather. And the next four days are looking really good with high temperatures in the 70s. So we might not see these 70s for a while after this weekend. So make sure you get out and enjoy this weekend. Rain chances spike on Thursday and then much cooler heading into next weekend. Finally going to feel like November and also December. I can't, be, can't believe next week's the first week of December. That's happened quickly. I That's know. It's it's here all of a sudden. It, do, it doesn't feel like November, that's for sure. Especially when it's almost 80 degrees every day. Exactly. Well, Not complaining, though. A Thanksgiving trip to the beach sounds nice. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Sports Director Tony.